What's up, everybody? Back at it again, jumping another little joint here. It's going to be interesting, so let's go. Topic of this video is going to be something to like, I'm going to talk about big deal with these Nikes, the joints that just came out, and I'm like, seriously, for a pair of Nikes, you kidding me? Now, what happened was, I like, this is quelled down, I think. I haven't heard anything lately. But like maybe a month ago, the big deal with all this new Jordan, the collection that came out. People were showing their ass out. They were breaking hinges off of mall doors, shooting this, that, and the fifth. The ignorance was fucking unbearable. Now, my problem is with these people is I'm like, they're just a pair of shoes. Like, I remember back in the day, people were just doing this, that, and the third for coats and jackets. True enough. But it wasn't to the point where they were breaking hinges off the mall doors to get a pair of Jordans. They weren't shooting. Like, this shit really was happening. Like, people getting robbed left and right, this, that, and the fifth. But here's what kills me about these people. There's people that doing it just for a pair of, what, ninety dollars, what, 140 whatever they are. I don't. I never was a big Jordan fan as far as shoes because everybody wore Jordans and why be like everybody else? See, be your own self. So. That being said, why? What's like big deal? The Jordans. Yes, I know they're a collection. Yes, I know they're rare, but you can still get them. Hell, you can probably get them off of eBay from China. You know, for real. But I hear all this backlash as far as people saying, "Well, it's the way the media distorted. It. It's the way the media slammed the story." I'm pretty sure I didn't see fucking Ted Koppel breaking one of the doors down to get inside fucking champs or fucking you know. Footlocker to get a pair of Jordans. I'm sure I didn't see Brian Williams with a skull cap on you know, doing the nightly news as he was busting the cat to stay in line. You know what I mean? I mean, at the end of the day, people have to accept responsibility for the. I'm gonna use two words that like people need to learn the terms of. Like the people need to learn to take responsibility for like the clown shit or the fuck shit, which is basically the same as clown shit that y'all do. Like. I know there's certain situations where responsibility, if you're playing like different like different situations, understand that part. But I'm talking about you, shit like this, man. Come on, I'm like over a pair of Jordans, like. And then the people that interview were Jesus Christ. They were just about as dumb as the people that were breaking the doors down. There's like one interview. That I'm like, I'm and like, here's what I was doing when this was happening the whole time. That's what I was literally doing, because I first of all I saw the story, then I put my head down when I heard the motherfucker speak, and it was like, God damn man, take a fucking English class once in a while. You know, or someone should have yoked you from behind and said, Hey, I'll still do, do the talking here. Like, for real. I'm like, please, it's this over a pair of Jordans, come on now. If y'all balling like that, y'all get any shoe you want. But come on, who's breaking hinges down for a pair, you know, the only the only people that do this are people that don't have shit in life. I'm, I'm beginning to realize that. Like, people can say I'm judging these people, which I probably am, and I don't give a shit because I'm telling them the way it is, and people are afraid to say this. But people who usually do this shit usually don't have shit or never had shit before. So to them, this is their crowning achievement in their life. Like, if it's crazy. It's unreal. Like, to me... And all you people up there saying, well, there's reasons behind this and cause of the conditions, man, you just giving these motherfuckers more excuses to fuck up. Let me put it this way. Let them move in your neighborhood. Let them move near you. When they start fucking up, let's hear these excuses. End of the day, it's all about accountability and responsibility. I ain't going to break no doors off of hinges off of places to get a pair of shoes. If I, if I can't look, if I can't find, if I couldn't find a pair of Jordans, I don't want to Adidas or something, but man, come on, that shit was embarrassing. That shit was trifling. Anybody saying anything different is a clown for real. So quit blaming the media. Quit, Mike Wallace wasn't out there fucking putting Jordans on the back of his SUV. So quit, get out of here. The people that were doing it need to accept responsibility. So I'm out. That's my thoughts. Peace.